Tears for his doomed bride and take it bitter at being cheated of their marriage. One generation cannot free the next. God will bring them crashing down. Enters into the lives of mortals, free and clear. Oh, Haman, never lose your sense of judgment over a woman. The war, the rush of pleasure. Turned against you. Spit her out! Like a mortal 
among the dead. You will never be together. A traitor for my son is unheard of. You'll pay for what you've done. What's her punishment to be? I'll leave her to starve. Show me imminent demise in the dark. Oh, my Haman! The man in the street, you know? Dredge your glance. Bid never say anything to your face. It's just up to me to catch these murmurs in the dark about the death of such a young girl. No woman, they say, them deserve such a brutal death for such a glorious action. Oh, she is my love. And it just pains me to see her like this. So if she must die, then I must die beside her. No father of mine can keep us apart. Oh, mother, your marriage bed, the coiling horrors, the coupling there, he was your own son, my father, doomstruck mother. Such, such are my parents and I their wretched child. I go to them now, cursed, unwed, <coughs> to share their home. Do not fear my child. In these lonely hours we shall be together. Mother and daughter, cursed alike. My marriage failed us both. That's why I very full in my seats. Your marriage cursed us and the burial was to resolve it. I did not ask to die, but I did ask one of my brother. Nevertheless, here we are, trapped inside this cave, never to see the light of day again. And the light of Elysium where we shall reside. I cannot be with my one true love, my Haman. He will wed another. I shall soon be forgotten. Tiffany, be as brave within death as you were within life. I was brave when I avenged my brother. Coward when I faced the stage of consequences. To face the consequences is to be brave. No matter your fate, no matter the curse, I am always your mother and you will always be my daughter. Oh, mother, I wish I had your strength. Provide me with your bravery. I do not wish to be my shared a bed with my son and ended the life my life from the shame. End your life with vengeance and dignity. There's no dignity in being trapped in a cave! How can I accept in the stars? Mirror my death. End it quickly. And the pain will be over and you will suffer no more. And we can be together again. I will see you soon, my mother. <coughs> and see you. my bridal bed, my house, my prison cut in the hollow rock, my everlasting watch. I'll soon be there, soon embrace my own, the great growing family of our dead, the Persephone is received among her ghosts, denied all joy of marriage, raising children, deserted so by loved ones, struck by fate, Antigone, Antigone, can you hear me? A heaven, my dear heaven, do my ears deceive me? Is this room really you? It is, my love, it is, it is. Oh, I wish I could see your face, but these forsaken walls block our faces. Oh, dear heaven, your voice is enough. But I fear it's the last I should ever hear of it. I will see you again. I promise, I promise, I wish to die beside you. No, no, don't delude yourself. She will never see me, never set eyes on my face again. Rage your heart out. Rage your friends who can stand inside of you. Never. For I have been the mother of children, or if my husband had died exposing and rotting, I'd never have taken this ordeal upon myself. Never defied our people's will. 
What law, you ask? Do I satisfy with what I say? A husband dead, there may have been another. A child by another two, as I lost the first. A mother and father lost in the halls of death, no brother could ever spring to light again. For this law alone, I held you first in honour. For this, Creon, the king, judges me a criminal. Guilty of dreadful outrage, dear brother. He takes me now, a captive in his hands, denied all joy of marriage, raising children, deserted so by loved ones, struck by fate. The king was shattered. We took his orders, went and searched. And there, in the deepest, dark recesses of the tomb, we found her, hung in a fine linen noose, strangled in her waist. <coughs> but the boy gave him a wild burning glance. He drew his sword. His father rushed out. Turning his haven, lunged and missed, doomed and desperate with himself. laying his full weight onto the blade. He buried it halfway to the hill. Sorry. Just a girl standing in front of a boy asking him to love her. 